and welcome everyone. We are gathered for another Knowledge Bolide Hangout sponsored by Topher Spin Meteorites. And we're going to do a little bit of show and tell, very little learning today, so relax, very little. And I will tell you that, um, I don't know when you're watching this, but on the weekend of the, what is the, what is the sale, the 18th. May 18th, 2024, we are having a huge sale, not our own meteorites. Uh, we're doing the Mark Lyon collection of meteorites. And we actually have some of his very expensive show pieces here. And we're, we're going to look at them because why not? I have, I have them. They're under my control and I'm going to share them with you guys. So let's <laughs> look at this first one here. And uh, I may have to zoom out. Yes. <laughs> this is... L E Glab. These will be on sale this weekend. That's why he said he had to zoom out since they were marked. You know they're all gonna be huge. <laughs> <laughs> I, we need uh, a bigger camera. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will I will tell you one thing. No matter what you buy this L E Glab for, you are paying less than he did for it. Or le less <laughs> no, I'm sorry, less than the buyers did for it. It was uh it was bought as something else after cutting a different stone, but they didn't cut this one until after the purchase. And they realized it wasn't the rare one that they expected it to be, but the money had already changed hands. I wasn't part of it, but yeah. So this is probably one of the most expensive mesosiderites that you can own under cost. <laughs> and it's gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, this one also has a beautiful texture, big area of metal and another big area of silicates. Yeah, Chris Monk, a little bit of acid on that, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's polished, but it needs some love. Yeah, so that is a beautiful uh, LD glob slice that will be available this weekend. And here is a super cool um end cut end. of nwa one four five one eight you wouldn't expect that to be as beautiful on the inside while he's looking at the outside necessarily you can see a lot of metal poking through well that's stunning isn't it it is wow Now, everybody, wipe the drool off your keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, we are going to we're putting uh, we're, we're putting things in schedules in boxes and I'm moving through the boxes at a, at a set pace or we're not going to get through the three hundred thousand dollars of meteorites in six hours. It is going to be obscene. You're going to it's it's like a personal tour through a, a meteorite museum, one of the, the best meteorite museums in the world. And everything's out of the case, and everything has a price tag. And Topher's fingerprints on. Oh. <laughs> and, trust me, there, my drool. DNA. I my saw on a drool too. Yeah. yeah. My saliva and DNA are already on most of these. <laughs> now, if anyone could identify this meteorite from the outside, oh my God, you would have been so lucky to pick this out of an NWA bin. Anyone have any clue? No. Look at this. What? Whoa. Whoa. Right there. Whoa. Oh. This is an end cut of Hasi Elbow Ed 001, I think. Wow. Absolutely stunning. This is not one of the uh, uh, palisites that you can fuse with any other palisite. It has its own camouflage. Hmm. It's like the predator. Yeah, dude, this this is the kind of stuff that's just laying around my house this week. That's yeah. intense, man. Unbelievable. I mean, to literally have access to a piece like this is unbelievable. You could have got another five slices off of that. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, oh God, I hate doing this. Look at this. This. Does anyone want to name this palisite? Uh -huh. That's a, that's the raw end of it, by the way. That's not cut or polished yet. Oh, but that's identifiable. The Malak? Nope. Oh. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. 
That's the I one thought... from Russia, begins with a K, Cracker. Oh, you got half of that right. <laughs> it is not Krasnijarsk, but it was a good Krasnijarsk. Yes. Yes. I thought this was 140 years old. Sue corrected me. She says, I only think that thing's like 30, 40 years old. And she was right. So there's another hint. 19, 1981. It was a witness fall. A witness fall palisite. Who, what, when, where, what? This is Omalong, a witness palisite from Russia. This may be the largest piece available to the private hands. And that thing is just wicked. Yeah. It's so cool looking. <laughs> yeah, I can give so you unique. like give you an idea this is about 400 350 to 400 dollars a gram oh my god and it's just remarkable to hold in your hand is just unbelievable even these little pieces of metal right here yeah just, so much and that's what stands out so much about this palisite is that that every piece of metal in it is like a knife blade yes yeah <laughs> Ken says it looks like a nugget of royalty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Looks stable too. Oh. It doesn't look like there's much rust on it. Yeah, no, it's it's in really, really beautiful shape. Um, let's see here. Can anyone ID this rock from the outside? You should be able to. I just showed you the other half of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just when you think, you know, hey, that's that's too big. We got a smaller one for you, too. Now, is that chromite? Is the black stuff we're seeing in there chromite? I'm not sure. Is my this down, down in here? Yeah, that looks funny. Like... But one of the things, so if you look at Odessa, Odessa has some black specks in it, and I'm not for sure that that's chromite. Mm. And it's very similar in this, although this is an ungrouped. All right, we we have to finish this up a little bit. Does anyone know what this is on the outside? From the outside, this one's gettable. Sergio, that one looks a little Imolac. Yeah, this, this. Keep in mind, a lot of these are March. He's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is an Imolac attack. Oh yeah. It, if Look I was holding a them. hand, <laughs> wow. it is unbelievable to have access to these beauties this is 50 no yeah 58 grams um i think i have a few more i want to show okay <laughs> oh <laughs> this is hasi elbow ed again but look at the metal in this one it, there's almost what? very little olivine this actually represents why this is my favorite palisite yes and we were talking about different fragments of olivines look at this you have different bits of chromite or something in between that black stuff we were just discussing. i love that metal that yeah. is so cool it's just so interesting and unique compared to other palisites it, it does have a little bit of translucency but this one is not cut for translucency this is this no. is a mic drop piece it's like violence and ice cream. Uh, <laughs> you have it? Wow, well done. And then, you know what? He has some uh, some spring water here that he's, you know, well, all proud about. But it's like, I don't know. I, I just showed my spring water. Are you trying to make Ellis and jealous? <laughs> yeah, stop it. All right, so I got to take all these fibers off of it. Okay. Spring water. You guys really need to come and watch the sale on Sunday live or join us on Zoom. It's going to be broadcast on, on YouTube, but uh, join us on Zoom. That way you can interact. Oh, my God. And it's just going to be six hours of looking at beautiful stuff like this and super, super rare stuff like one of one um, main mass end cuts of remarkable stuff. If you're good, if we're going to have a sphere, it's not going to be a, uh, uh, it's going to be a Gadamas lunar sphere. I mean, it, we're, it's, it's just insane. All right. As you can see, I have meteorites all around me. It's a beautiful place to be. Oh my God. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. Good night, everyone. Bye.